The Party for Socialism and Liberation organized a protest in Madison, but the socialist group was met with opposition as counter protests protesters also organized in the same parking lot. 12 News Deidre Briscoe was there for it all. On both sides of the park here at Strawberry Patch Park in Madison, Mississippi, we have conservative and socialist parties giving their perspective on what they believe. Whites died under that flag. Blacks died under that flag. It's not a hate racist flag. You need to get over it and move on. Socialists and conservative sides gave speeches concerning systematic issues, the Mississippi state flag and Confederate monuments. Neither side felt the other was validated in being there, but both sides respectfully protested. One protester called for a different set of monuments to come down. Are we going to get rid of black history? Well, they can't hold uh, Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, I mean, all the black statues and monuments. To me, that should remind you of oppression just as well. While many argued what oppression looks like, others cited fear as the ideology of systematic issues in America. Defending the only thing they have, which is their whiteness. And whiteness is violence in the American context. And so in a lot of ways, I, I don't care for them. I don't think they're going to do anything. I think they just like to be out here to agitate and flex their guns and make people afraid, which is part of their ideology is fear. One protester said the fight isn't for a particular flag, but rather the fight is for the future of the American people. I'm from Mississippi, born and raised, and I loved our flag. But it doesn't hold anything to me compared to our big flag, our bigger problems, our national problems. A flag to me is just a symbol. Does it hurt my feelings to change the flag? Not at all. It doesn't. I'm more about the American people. It was only minor bickering, so the protest was ultimately peaceful here today. Both sides just equally wanted to be heard. Reporting in Madison, Deidre Briscoe, 12 News.